I feel like I have been stabbed in the chest. What have I done? In what way have I fallen short of being a good wife to Austin? I literally lived my life for him and the children. I sacrificed everything. Everything. This is how I'm being appreciated. Hello, hello, Amara, listen to me, eh? I just saw your husband with that same girl. That same girl at the um, E and K restaurant. At the E and K. You know E and K restaurant now. Exactly. Uh -huh. Come now. You see me there now? No, 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 no. It is strong. It is very, very strong. Yes. Oma strong. I'm waiting for you. Are you okay? Mm. Yeah, sure. I am. I just wanted a plate of salad. And I'm good. How about you? Don't you want something to eat? I will eat when we get to the hotel. Mm. Right now, there's just one thing in my mind. This is... Mm. Now nah, who's naughty? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's all good. You know I got you. I love the fact that you always got me. Ring ring ring. Do it 
that week. Please! <laughs> Why are you looking this way? Why are you scattered? What happened? Why is my sister looking this way? What happened? She caught her husband with a girl and she beat her blue black. Oh my goodness. Auntie, hope they did not enjoy you. Eh? Me. <laughs> It's only annoying me that I do not break those her bones. Why pieces. is Dr. Halima calling you? Dr. Halima is calling me. Hello? Dr. Halima? What's up? What's happening? Is it really you and Amara I'm seeing in one video that has gone viral online? You two were fighting one girl. You saw that online? Of course. I'm watching it here with Maureen. Where are you? I'm with Amara. We're at her house. We are close to her house. I'm coming over in five minutes. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, Ami, your fight has gone viral online. No? Hey, 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 we are trending. <laughs> I like that part. We are trending. Yes, that is true. Oh my God. Hey, 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 look at this one. Angry wife catches hobby and girlfriend and engages both in a fight. Tearing girlfriend's clothes in public. Hello! We are trending! We are trending! <laughs> oh my goodness! I go! My girl is very local. It's okay, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. You have done enough. Go open the gates now. Open the gates. Just calm down, calm down, calm down. Hey, I am super proud, proud of you. You are the one trending all over. I'm telling you. Train all these single girls that Kaki can never be led up. You really dealt with that girl. And I believe all these leashes that will watch that video and learn their lessons. I am so happy come. for you. Uh, and let me get water for you. Were you in that issue when your husband and the girl drove in or I was how did you know they were there? Miriam was there and she called me and I went. The only yeah. thing that's making me angry is I do not break that girl's face. Hey. Hey. I would have shown her a lesson. That, that, that her leg, she would not use it to see man again. We are trending. Hey. Just, just look at you. Yes, sir. You are trending. Is that what life is all about? That's the most important thing. My question, JJ, is what did you do to that woman while she was attacking you? You know, I want to hear that you blinded one eye or you remove a tooth from her mouth. Which one did you do? She didn't do anything. She just took the beating without giving back a simple slap. Simple slap! Hey! JJ. Hey. You know, I am so upset because nobody called me when all of this was happening. Listen, <sighs> girls. I am so angry because nobody called me when all of this was happening. Listen, girls. One thing we must understand is that married women have decided to be embarrassing babes in public. Yes. They have declared war. They want to collect food from our mouths. So this is war. Hey, Aya. This is war. Yes, so it is war. It is war. Is it because we are calm? 
Is it because we try to respect our children and husbands at home? And those ladies, those girls, we think we are calm. We are not. Oh, oh you know, say me, I no send. I go deal with them. Ah. Ha! I mean, do you know you made a mistake? Honestly, I've been thinking about it. You made a mistake. You would have disfigured that girl's face. Exactly. So that whenever your husband sees her, she will not look attractive. Miriam! Organe. Eh? This is not a good one, please. This is not a good advice. Stop it. Ducky. <laughs> Ducky. The problem with these outdated women is that they think that the world should stand still because one man kept them in the house. They don't take care of themselves. You see them all blotted out with bulging tummies and fat hams. Smelly things. They don't understand that we singles, we are the ones taking care of their men. We keep them alive. They don't understand that thing, no. Hey! If my ATM's wife sees me and attack me, babes, I go tell and say I don't shave my eyebrow. I don't get shame. No, no, no. I can fight anywhere, oh. Not be JJ when go quiet when they, 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 they slap and she they look. Sharp girl ain't no sharp. No, 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 no. If that girl, like many others, throw away their shame to be parading themselves with other people's husbands, then I am Marachuku. I will throw my shame away and enter the gutter and I will dig it out with her there. No, that is no. it. No. That is it. Can you imagine? I mean, imagine these leeches. They can drive one crazy. Huh? And they'll, they'll make her husband look at us like we're useless. I mean, we, we try to create a happy home for our men and children. But what do they do? They steal our husbands away. Especially when we need their comfort and their, and their touches. But enough is enough. No. They're so bold. So, 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 they can, can you imagine? But you know what? Enough is enough. Something must be done. And Ami, you did the right thing. No, Miriam. No. I would not let anybody take my husband away from me. I will not let anybody steal the quality time that is meant for my kids and I. Anybody that knows that girl should go and tell her that. I will do that. I am right beside I you. I said I am right beside you. Right you. Beside What's you? wrong with both of you? What is it, Ducky? Ogene? 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 Oh, please, please. Is it because you got married to an old man that cannot perform? That's why you don't want to say anything. Excuse me. You can't just be advising her to be fighting. I am right beside you, my darling. What's the problem? Allow us we that go married to young guys to take care of our guys. What's your problem? <laughs> eh? Please, we don't have your time. <laughs> Listen, if Austin's wife had come to me on her knees, begging me to leave her husband alone, in my benevolence, I would have considered. But coming to fight me, Jennifer, in public, embarrassed me, thinking that would scare me away from my ATM. Hmm? That was the biggest mistake of her life. <laughs> you know, if I want, Austin would leave her for me. But of course, I don't want to get married to Austin. <laughs> but trust me, she will come kneeling before me to apologize. This war just began.
brother, welcome. Juliet. Why is your sister? I mean, is she... I'm sure you've heard everything that happened. I've already seen it on the internet. And for my sister, she's deeply hurt. Where is he? Lover boy, welcome. Baby, we have to talk about this. What happened out there today was unavoidable. Oh well, that is if you have not been cheating on me. Well, my bad. Did you have to fight her in public to embarrass all of us? My bad. I should have waited for you to come back so that I can kill you. Just wait. What is she talking about? What is she talking about? I'm going to stab you today so that you will never keep Jesus. on the Juliet! Juliet! Oh my God! Juliet, get out of my way! Lord, Juliet! Don't do this. Sister, please now, calm down. Calm Juliet! Down. Sister, please. Juliet, leave me alone! Leave me alone! I'm begging you, please. Please don't, don't do this. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Sister! Leave me alone! Sister! Please now. Sister. Who's that? It's me, Dr. Halima. Thank goodness that you are here. Hmm. What is good about me being here, Austin? What's that shame of shame you and your wife is? Must you and your wife embarrass yourself in that public show of shame that is trending on the social media? Tell me, Austin, what do you call that? Um. How could you guys do that? That is what I was telling her, and she wants to kill me! You see, she's holding a knife. No, 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 she's no, no, holding no. a knife. I'm, I'm stop it, stop it! Stop it. Hey, hey, hey! You see what I was saying? She's holding a knife, she wants to kill me! Juliet, hold! Please, if you leave this, hey, Juliet, if you leave this guy, you leave this house. I'm an Let me let me kill you. 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 Let why? Why? Why to men cheat? Why to men cheat? Oh, I feel abused. I feel used. I feel neglected. And Austin sees nothing in this. He sees nothing in what he's doing. He blames me. <laughs> Amarachi. Amarachi, you have to calm down. Calm down so you don't make a mistake. All this while, all your action has been led by anger. Listen, if I was there when Miriam called you to come to that eatery, I wouldn't have let you go there. Now, can you tell me of what benefit of you going to that eatery, what you gain from it? My benefit? Yeah. My benefit is that now I know that I want to kill him. I want to kill Austin. Austin is an ungrateful bastard. Do you know why I left the bank? 
Do you know why I left my job? Austin and I were working in the same bank. And then we fell in love. When we wanted to get married, the bank asked one of us to step down as a bank policy. I gave up my career. I stepped down for Austin even though I was a senior officer and I was earning much more than he was. Now look at me. I'm a housewife. A full-time housewife. I have to depend on Austin for everything. I beg him for virtually everything. Austin does not even know that I have financial needs. Ah! Calm down, Amara. She's no good for your health. Austin went to buy that girl lunch. Austin took that girl to go and buy lunch. Amara is okay. When last did Austin take me out? Has he ever taken me for lunch? Shalima! This is no good for you. Oh, God! Your Austin will not go. You. Do you know that Austin is paying that girl's house rent? Austin bought her a car! Austin bought her a car! Look at me! Do I have a car? What do I have, Georgia? Amarachi, can you come? Oh my god! Amarachi, Amarachi, please! Amara, take a deep breath. Ah. Take a deep breath. Amarachi! Help me call Stop. Austin, let's take her to but the hospital. Why are you at CPR? But Get Austin is not around, he has driven out. Now give me a hand, let's take her to the hospital. Sister! Let's go. <laughs> Sister, please. Chantel, hurry up! Oh. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Hustin. Jenny, we are leaving now. Hi, Austin. Hello, Chantel. Welcome. Thank you. Um, we're on our way out. Okay. So, see you. Jennifer! We're leaving. Take care. Take care. See you later. Austin, bye. Take care. I love my wife and kids so much that I'll do anything and everything to provide and protect them just to make them happy. But Amara is suffocating me. I am a bird that cannot be caged. I love her so much. I just want Amara and her friends to understand that the fact that I go out once in a while to play does not mean I'm going to marry another woman. No, come on. I am just responding to this thing inside of me. No man eats a particular food. Yes, Juliet, what is it? Good evening, Brother Austin. I, I just want to notify you that my sister has just been admitted. Juliet, if this is a plot to get me back to that house so that your sister will kill me, you have failed. I am serious. She has just been admitted. And I didn't say you should come back to the house. You can call Dr. Halma to confirm. Okay. Let's just say all these things you're telling me is true. Right? This is a lesson for her to control her anger. Why would she put up a show in public like that? I'm not coming back to that house. Can you imagine? <laughs> you see that wife of yours? She hasn't even seen anything. This is just the beginning. And you, hope you're not poking that horrible gossip of a girl. Really? What? Why are you acting like a saint? When I and both of us know you're not. Well, I know I'm not a saint because you are my sinner. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. Damn. Mm. Yeah, how is she now? She's doing very fine. She is very lucky to have escaped a severe heart attack. Yeah, I was thinking of taking food to her, but um, then I'll go to my house. But I decided to come see, uh, come to 
come to our house. No, no need for the food till tomorrow. So how is her children? Oh, they're fine. They're, they're, they're upstairs, right? Yeah, they're upstairs. So I, they were told that their mom went on a short trip. That she'll be back tomorrow. So whoever that is coming to pick her up in the morning should come around 8 a.m. So that by then I must have disturbed her. Okay. All right. Thank you. <sighs> Doctor Alima said that there's no need to take food to her, that we shouldn't bother, that she'll be discharged tomorrow. Oh, she's, she's, so everything is going to be fine. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. How are the kids? Fine. Fine. Says that they're missing them. What about their father? Austin. Have you called him? I have no clue, but let me call him now. the kids? They are fine. I just came back from picking up. Oh, yeah. I wanted to go to the hospital and see Ami. Oh, when I called Dr. Alima, she said I might not meet her up. So I decided to come here and see her. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. That is nice. Let's go in, sir. Okay. You can come, sir. Oh, I guess it's Sister Mimi. Let okay. me check. You see, those leeches can actually give someone a heart attack. Can you imagine? Ami's case would have been worse than this. Yes. Ah, God will punish those girls who are so fearless and want to reap where they did not sow. Amen. What nonsense? Can you imagine? They don't even become very bold. They are so bold. Sister. Two policemen are here to see you. Good evening, ladies. What do you want? I am Corporal Monde, and here with me is Corporal Cletus. Which among you is Mrs. Amara Austin Adebayo? Is there a problem, officers? Are you Mrs. Adebayo? No, I'm her friend. Is there a problem? I am Mrs. Adebayo. How can I help you? Madam, you are under arrest for alleged assault of Fuhon Jennifer Thomas. What? Officer, please. You cannot arrest her. She just came back from the hospital. Please, take care of my children. Oh, very good.
Hello. Hello, brother. Good morning. Yes, Juliet. What can I do for you this morning? I'm in the office. Brother, my sister was discharged from the hospital this morning. As soon as she came back, two policemen came and arrested her. Look, I thought we were done with all these pranks and... Excuse me, brother Austin. We all are not caught out for stupid prank of yours. Yes. All I expected you to do was to confirm from Dr. Halima if indeed my sister was hospitalized or not. I also expected you to confirm if indeed she was arrested or not, not the other way around. Hey, Juliet. Don't call me. Don't. You know, I'm beginning to lose respect I have for you over this shameful escapade of yours. Yes. I know you are using this prank thing as an excuse to stay away from your home and continue having fun with your so-called girlfriend. But that is not the problem. Listen to me and listen to me carefully. If in any way you and your so-called girlfriend planned to do anything to my sister, <laughs> trust me, my family will not spare you. And I, Juliet, will make sure I tell your children that you are responsible for what their mother is going through. Mark my words. the gates. Okay, when are you coming back now? Oh, you've left us finally. <laughs> My sister, I can't tell precisely. You know, I had to stay with Kelvin. I really had to stay with him. I know. Until he proposes. Period. And he must propose. Mm -hmm. He must. As he should. Especially with this pregnancy. <laughs> hey! Can't tell me. Ah, it's My all dear, good. It's all good. It's by force. So by force. You know, it has not been easy with me in my family. Since three of my younger sisters got married, mm -hmm. ne, I had to stay on with Calvin. But don't worry, I will keep in touch. It's all good. Right. Please, pray for me. We will, we will, my love. Just Thank take care you. of yourself, okay? Thank I will you. Miss you. I will miss you. <laughs> Safe trip, huh? <laughs> All right, there. Drive back careful, oh. Ah. No, her troubles. It's just it for me. Ah. Bye. At least we're going to rest now. <laughs> that misses much, girl. <laughs> Is he going to come in? Is he going to cut the shot? Jennifer! Jennifer! What's that trouble again? What is the meaning of all this? Hi, Hussein. Huh? What is the meaning of all this? What is it? I have been calling you and you're not picking up my calls. Making me drive all the way to this place. Chill, man. I've not been on my phone all day. My phone has been upstairs. Did you lodge a complaint against my wife at the police station? Oh, that was yesterday. Hope they've arrested her though. What is wrong with you? Why would you do that? That woman has been through a lot already. Oh, and I haven't been through enough. I made it up to you, didn't I? I want you to go to that station and withdraw that complaint. Hell no. I'm not doing such. What did you say? You heard me. I would not. I am asking you Austin, to I come with not. me to the station to withdraw the case. I said I will not. What rubbish. Jennifer. You know that JD traveled. Traveled to? What do you mean she traveled? Vanessa, you're messing with me and I don't like it. Where is Jennifer? I 
I know she's in this house. Search for her. The MPN number you are calling is currently... Why is the phone switched off? Huh? Jennifer! Jennifer! It's currently switched off. What about Ami? I could not build her because I couldn't get Jennifer. She didn't want to follow you to the station, right? No. She traveled so as to prolong Amara's stay at the station. Is this no wickedness? This is pure wickedness. She's aware that today is Friday and bills are not acceptable during weekends. Now she wants her to rot there, right? She is just. She should just rot in hell. That girl should rot in hell. Brother, I don't understand what you are saying. I don't. Now, do you believe when I told you that my sister was discharged from the hospital? Do you? Now she has been arrested. to her all right listen we will work out how to take food to her and other things that will keep her company all right it's fine i'll call dr halima and find out if there are any drugs we can take to her it's okay she will be fine trust me but on a second thought this is too much for one person god what is going on what is her crying what exactly is her crying what exactly is her crying? I think two days is a long time for her to spend in a police cell. Honestly, we need to work out something so she won't feel depressed. It's okay. It's okay. Does my sister deserve what is happening to her? Is it wrong for a woman to stand up? to protect her family. Why is life so corrupt to the innocent? Is it what love is all about? I thought that the panacea for a good and happy home are love and faithfulness of supposed to each other. Where has my sister earned? Where?
Marion. Oh, good morning, Austin. I think you good morning. Mm -hmm. okay. I have been calling your line and you weren't answering. I wanted to find out if you were actually at the station or you are home. Yes, uh, Julia just brought my phone to me. I left it upstairs. Okay. And I called the IPO and he said we should come at 12 and it's just 10. Oh my goodness, you should have told me. Then, I, I mean, I wouldn't have been here in the first place. I am so sorry. Okay, so shall we? I must say the security in this house is a flop. Good morning. You all are surprised to see me. It's okay, it's okay. I understand. Well, Vanessa here told me you came looking for me. I was actually out of town having fun. I just got back in this morning. How may I help you? Well, when I left your house, I went to the police station to build my <laughs> ah, interesting. Did I not tell you that you would come looking for me? So after threatening and insulting me, you want me, me, JJ, to go bail out your wife? Really? Look, Jennifer, I was angry and under pressure. I'm sorry for threatening you. <laughs> Say that again. I'm sorry for threatening you. Girl, did I not tell you? He's begging. Well, to so err is human, and to forgive her, divine. I like that. Mm -hmm. To err is human, and to forgive is divine. It's all good, it's all good. You know what, Austin? Come on, man. Austin! Hmm? I said follow me. Austin! Hmm? Let's go bail out that dog you call a wife house. Mm. Let's go. Hi. Let's go.
As an elderly person, it is my duty to mediate alongside my role as a police officer. My intention is to bring all of you together to ensure a lasting peace. Ms. Jennifer, so. how can we settle this matter so that we can forgive Mrs. Adebayo and withdraw your case against her? <laughs> Thank you, sir. You've spoken to me and I've heard you. Also, her husband here has impressed me greatly. My heart is not made of stone, so yeah. I will forgive her if she shows remorse by apologizing to me. Good. We are heading somewhere. Mrs. Adebayo, yes, did you hear her? Yes, I did. I'm sorry. If you're sorry, you should go down on your knees and apologize. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for beating you up. It will not happen again. <laughs> it's all right, it's all right. I forgive okay. her. All right. And if you I think I'll withdraw my charges at least. Good. Mm -hmm. So you can get up now. Mm. There's something I want you to understand. Maturity is not my age. When they say somebody is mature, it's the ability to think. Mature women do not attack the mistress of their husband. Instead of attacking her, you attack your husband. Hmm? You have no business with her. Do you understand me? If your husband continues to be irresponsible, there are many ways you can handle this matter without being violent. You see, the violent way you have taken it has landed you into this. Huh? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. You can go. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Miss Jennifer. Yes, sir. Look, you may not have contravened the law, but morally and spiritually, you are wrong. You offended that woman. You broke her heart and humiliated her. Hmm? For crying out loud, if such is done to you tomorrow, will you take it? Is my order offensive to you? Oh, sorry if it is so, but this order is reminding me of a lot of things. So just allow me. Let me be perceiving it. Hey! And you still think these leeches should not be dealt with after this humiliation? Eh? Hey! Let any one of them cross my path. Let the person just try and I will deal with her and face the consequences. Why, 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 why will you even allow yourself? Just, just calm down, calm down. And as for that, Jennifer, what are you going to do about her? Okay. My dear, the Amara, you know before it's not the same Amara now. My sister, I am now a new person. Being in that cell gave me time to reflect on a lot of things. I mean, if my husband decides to continue with his irresponsibility, fine. 
I mean, I don't have any problem with a side chick. Hmm. He's the one I have a problem with. Ah. There are many ways to deal with men like that. I've always known you're a good person. No, you're a sweetheart. If it were to be some women, they would have just poisoned him to death. So that he would die. There's an option, funny idiots. Why kill a man and spend your life in jail? What would be your gain if you kill a man and have this blood in your hands? Do you know the consequences of that? That's stupidity. Are you thinking of divorce? Divorce is an option. But not for somebody like me. How do you expect me to leave my home for that gold digger? That tart that, that doesn't know how I and my husband worked hard to build this home. No. No. No, I can't leave my home for her. Mm -mm. I will not leave my children to be raised by another woman. Do you think that thing can take care of my children the way I will? <laughs> Neither will I carry my children out of this home. Oh, I will now go and suffer and train the children. Then when they grow up, they'll start asking after their father. I, no now. No. Should you see this home? I will stay here. I will train my children here. We die here. If it's me, I would feel cheated, betrayed and used. Well, that is you. Mm. He's just lucky. <laughs> He's very lucky. That's how you, you want to feel, though. As for me, I've said my own. We die here. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. What a world. So fighting for what is mine is now a crime? I get it wrong. <sighs> well, I've accepted my fate. Austin. Austin. as well. Ibn Abo, I'm not here for a social visit. I am here unwillingly, just because of your mother. She said she had a message for you. And Agnes, please give her the message for her. Let me leave here. How about for Ellie? Take it easy with her, please. She's your first daughter and your first child. Are you yes. sure about that? Yes. My first daughter and my first child? How is that possible? I know then thinking of Anglican communion for over 20 years. The first son of the first reverend father in our community. What are you talking about? Now, let me ask you, how old is she? She's 33 years. Good. Where does she work? She's not working. What type of business or trade does she do? The answer is no, nothing. How does she make money to live this large? She lives off men. Married men, for that matter. Don't touch me. She's still a small child. Please. Look, you don't know the damage this girl is doing to marriages and families. 
You don't know how she's breaking the heart of young and innocent married women. You don't know what she's doing to them. You watch her on the internet fighting with a, a lady over her husband. What are you talking about? That's why I said she will change. She will change. I know. A granddaughter of an Anglican priest that's supposed to be an example to other people. Look at how she's dressed. Look at how she's living. I know, please. We'll talk to her. Or you do it gently. Excuse me. Excuse me. Please. When you are ready, discussing your mother and the understanding, you meet me outside before. Yeah, I'm contaminated. In fact, I'm so uncomfortable here. I'm out of this place. It's not like that, please. If you have what you see, eh? I've been talking to you. Don't want to listen. Eh? Now, your father has seen everything. I don't even know what to tell him. Eh? It's left for you to change. If you don't want to change, that is your own life. I can't kill myself. Imagine my first daughter misbehaving. I saw you on internet, naked. Imagine, look at your dressing. I didn't want to say anything in the presence of your father, but I'm ashamed of yourself. I'm ashamed. My first daughter, a mother in a church. Do you know that my husband is a deacon? I'm a mother in the church. What will I tell the women that I'm controlling in the church? What will I tell them? That my daughter is into prostitution. Yeah? Oh. Okay. Here you go. Thank you so much. That's your phone. Thank you. Where are you going? I'm going to my children's room. To your children's room or to our children's room? Anyway, what is going on there? We just finished eating and we are telling stories. What happened to eating together? Even when you don't feel like eating, you sit next to me and watch me eat. And then we'll talk about our day's event. What changed? I was jobless then. Yeah. Now I realize that I should be spending my time on people that value me most. And that's why I'm with my children. I know you feel the pain in my heart. Oh, I know you see the tears in my eyes. Oh, you hear the cry from the depths of my heart. But you've chosen to do your things, ignoring how I feel. You hear the cry from the depths of my heart. But you've chosen hey, to do your what? things. What? What's that? Ah, uh, stop it, please. Ah. Babe, it's been a while now. Why should I stop it? Please stop this thing, I beg. It's irritating me. Yeah. It's irritating you. Tell me, what is the problem? I don't have a problem. You are the one that has a problem. Stay on your lane. Uh -uh. Hey, I should stay on my lane. I touched my wife and she's telling me to stay on my lane. This is not the first or second time. What does that even mean? What it means is what it means. Stay on your lane. Austin, stay on your lane. Zukwani K. Uh-uh. Please, look for your information. From now, I will not have sex with you again. Because you have defied the very reason for sex between husband and wife. Okay? So please, just let me be. For your information, from now, I'll be sleeping in the children's room. Maybe that will make you come more comfortable. You want to deprive me of sex that legally belongs to me? <laughs> it's not funny, you're laughing. Do you know the implication of what you just said? Did you just say deprive? Yes. Me. Deprive you of sex. You that has sex on a platter of gold. Uh-uh. A whole you. If I do, will I come and ask you to, to give it to me? A whole you. Sex champion. With all your mistresses and girlfriends. You say I'm depriving you. <laughs> Austin. <laughs> Austin. <laughs> eh? Man's hot. Oh my god, no. Austin. I have 
have something for you. Mm? Here. Use it. Mm? You know, the children need you to be alive, okay? So make sure you use this all the time. What is this? You know what it is. Make sure you use it. I don't want my children to be fatherless. Use it. When it finishes, tell me. I'll Come, let me use it on you first. Leave me! Come, use what? Use it on you first. Austin, Today. Austin, Austin, Today. Austin, respect yourself. Nonsense. Use it on me. Yeah. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. See, if I don't use this... Ah, sister. Oh God. <laughs> How are you? Good though. <laughs> sister, I mm. wanted to ask, what arrangement have you made so far to cushion my absence when I leave by the weekend? No, I've I'm making some arrangement, but you know you it will not be easy for me. I know, sister. I know, and I am sorry. I just have to leave this place. Hmm? And I also suggest the children should come with me. Mother will be very, very happy to see them for holidays. And you two, you have to come with us to spend some time. Is that a good suggestion? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'll talk to Austin about it. Okay. You want to leave me happy? <laughs> Sister, I will miss you though. I will miss you. <laughs> what are we having for lunch? Um, I, I need your love rice. Mm, rice. Oh, let me, I think I should dish it out, right? Maybe just boil a little beans and add to it. Okay, okay, mm. no problem. I will, I will. Alright. I hope I'm not disturbing you. I'd like to have a word with you. Okay, what is it? Austin, please. I need money for the business, the food business that we have been talking about. And I need to take my kids to my mother's place since I'm starting business. You know, Julia says she cannot stay with us anymore. So it will be too tasking for me. We'll be leaving this weekend to my mother's place. Well, since you have everything figured out, what can I say? I don't know why you're bringing up this business thing again. Am I not taking care of you? Are you lacking anything? Austin, please, please, let's not just go back there again. We had an agreement. I stopped my career for you to continue with the banking job. And we agreed that later on I'll go into business. So what is it? For nine years now, we keep talking about the same thing. Any time anytime I bring up this business matter, you will just make promises that you never fulfill. Amara, I want you to know that. I know why you're going on and on about this business this last month. You want to leave me, isn't it? Is that not why you've stopped having sex with me? Was that for me? Who else is in this room? I know your friends have been telling you to leave me ever since that Jennifer's incident. Yes, you don't have money. That is why you're still here. If you did, you would have left a long time ago. And that money is what you're looking for right now and I'm not going to give you. I know you feel the pain in my heart. Oh, I know you see the tears in my eyes. Oh, you hear the cry from the depths of my heart, but you've chosen to do your things. What's up, Brian? Yeah, I'm good.
Brian, listen, this topic you want us to talk about right now, it's so delicate. You know what? Um, I'll just call you much later in the evening so we could talk properly, okay? All right, babe. Kisses, bye. <laughs> hey, why do men think they are so smart? Eh? I don't understand. What happened? Hey. Brian called me last night. While we were talking, he said he wanted to take our relationship to the next level. I don't have a problem with that. Next thing he said he wanted to move from Abuja to Lagos. Okay, that's all good. So? Now he's saying he wants us to move in together. And I asked him why. He said so he could save up for our marriage. Can you see how smart he is? Hey, ha. if I were you, I would jump to it. What am I saying? I would throw him a red carpet to receive him. <laughs> Hold on. I, JJ, the heart of men pays around me. She threw a red carpet for someone who can't even pay his house rent. Really? How many of these hosts of men want you? No, how many of them are single in the first place? Mm. Babes, your father's voice some couple of days ago still rings the bell in my ears. And yes, he's dead right. Forget, babe, how would it be? We don't old. Forget all these things. And you and I know the kind of game we're playing. We're running out of time. I don't know. Well, let me see, Sha. I'm so sorry I kept you girls waiting. I was in the kitchen. I was trying to prepare something. <laughs> welcome, 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 exactly. welcome. <laughs> Thank you girls wow. for coming. Thank I'm you. Really mm -hmm. I know. Yeah. Foodie. Yeah. Foodie. Yeah. <laughs> I knew you girls would come. Thank you so much. You're Thank welcome. you for everything you guys have done. Honestly, I'm so happy. Like, now that I have you know, started ignoring my husband mm. and doing my thing. I found peace. Yeah. Really? I'm so much at peace with myself. My dear, the other day when I was going to look for his store, I noticed that he sneaked behind me to follow me to where I'm going to. Oh. Yes, yeah. oh the time the that he started asking me. <laughs> Can you imagine? Man, they are jealous species. Mm. They can't stand cheating, yet they won't stop cheating. Oh. Can you say can that say that again. again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Ami, I'm really happy for you yeah. that right now you've decided to do something very useful with yourself. Mm -hmm. Instead of sitting around the house, living yeah. around, looking for who your husband is seeing and who he's not seeing. Look at you. That was a total waste, trust me. <laughs> Thanks to you girls. I mean, you people are the bomb. Thank you. Yeah. We love you. I love yes. you. Come, girlfriend. Oh, I love you all too. Thank you. Thank you. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Mommy. Mommy. I need me. She would never change. <laughs> I need one more favor from you guys. You know the business I was talking about, the food business I told you girls about. Mm -hmm. I have found a very good shop in a choice area. Wow. Wow. Nice wow. 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 Yes, but I need capital. Aww. Yeah, I need about five million naira to start up. I should start paying back in two months. You know, I interviewed some of the people living around there and they're so excited that a business like that is coming to that area. So yeah. I'm pretty sure that business is going to succeed. Hmm. Please. Hmm. Okay. Then I'll give you 1.5 million. You got wow. it! <laughs> I, Maureen, I'm going to support you with two million. Woo! Maureen! That's huge, you know. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Thank you so That's much. That's a big oh, one. Thank what are we you. friends for? Thank you, Doctor. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Maureen. You know, I love you. I know. I'll give you three million. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Oh, I love oh, it. God. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, I love it. Let's have it. Let's have it. Let's have it. Oh, my God. What would I have done without you girls? Oh, my God. Let me go and check if the food is ready. Okay. okay. We all need to be happy. Ah, ah food, 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 food. Eh? Yes. Yes. Let's do it. Woo! Wow! wow. There we go! Woo. Please, please, I want mine. I want mine. Mine first. Uh-uh, what? Mine first. first. You mine like first. Food, you like drink, everything. you like everything. Everything. Mine first. Hey, Jennifer. <sighs> oh, I could see you've made it a habit to come here frequently. How do you know that? Okay. Let's say a little birdie that told we're friends told me. And who says we're no longer friends? Is Are that we? what you think? Are we really friends? My wife and children went for holidays at her mother's place. Okay. I've been alone for two weeks. Mm -hmm. I see. Well, I came here to get something to eat. I was actually on my way out when I saw you. Oh, um... Your takeaway is ready, huh? Uh, excuse me, please. Oh. Just... Sorry, just add it to my bill. I'll pay for it. Okay. okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll get going, so see you around. It's good to see you. Yeah. Really? Okay, um, I'm coming out. Well, you asked for me to come over, so... Um... I'm glad you're here. Look... Can we put the past behind us? I miss you. Oh, please, Austin. This is not why I came here. Shh. I have my own problems, you know. Problems? You didn't tell me that this afternoon. Mm, well, I need three million for a business I'm trying to venture into. And no one is coming for it. Three million? Yeah. Just three million? Yes. I can send that to you right now. Oh, please. Come on, Austin. I'm dead serious. This is no joke. Where's that your account number again? Um. Wait, um, it's here. Okay. Three million. Sent. What? If the network is good, you should get that right about now. Oh my God, baby, I love you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. You know what? Why don't you take it to the right this 
and undress me. Because I want to ride on you. Okay. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> I love you so fucking much. I love much. you too, baby. <laughs> oh my god, careful. <laughs> I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay. Hello. Hello. Amara, do you know what time it is? Oh, hi. Sorry, have you slept? Oh, okay. I'm at the gate. Please come and open up for me. Thank you. Holy shit. My wife is at the gate. We never said she was coming in tonight. Because I did not know. Can you wear your clothes? Can I... What? Why should I jump up because she's back? I don't get it. Can't you just tell her you have a guest? Are you listening to yourself? My friend, will you wear your clothes and then get out of this bed? Are you serious? I'm friend. Are you still lying down? What's oh, you You're hurting me. Yeah, hi. Hey. Um, sorry, let me help you. Thank you. Honey, why are you coming home so late? Ah, our boss spoiled a lot of times. In fact, I don't even understand what kind of boss that one is. And I just couldn't continue. I had to just come. That's why I got back later. I would have come earlier. And the kids? They are still with Mama. You know, I'll let them spend some time there. Please let me rest. You know, I have so much work to do. So I can't be juggling taking care of them and going to my shop. Okay, just um, <sighs> freshen up. Let me lock the gate. Yeah? All right. I'll bring the luggage upstairs. Thank you. Yeah, your girlfriend forgot that in the bathroom. I hope you've been using the condoms I bought for you. I could get you some if you if they're finished. Honey. They go now. Where you dig? Okay, stop me for here. No go, no go, no go again. Stop me for here. Stop me for here. Beg. Ah, stop now. Where you come? Carry me. They go now. Come. Ah, I don't understand this kind of thing. I don't tell me you stop me for that side. You carry me. They come this side. Who they rush? I don't understand. But see.
Careful, okay? Welcome. Welcome home. <laughs> Baby, thank you. Thank you for giving me a place to stay. See, I promise you, when everything settles, I will get us a, a bigger house, <laughs> you know, for us. It's fine. You don't have to keep to that promise. But yeah, come on, let me show you around the house. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, All right. Okay. After you. Yeah, sure. After you. Wow. <laughs> wow. Ah. Yeah, this way. Okay, I'm coming. Up with us, and you keep saying you're in for whatever. Honestly, I really want to know, baby. We've been dating for six years. I mean, we've been on and off for six years. Now, I want to settle down, I want to be responsible, I want to do something meaningful with my life for once. So it just makes sense to settle down with you. See, I, I, I know there are many things to iron out. There are many things to talk about between us, but I believe in communication. That's why I decided to come and stay here with you. So we we'll talk, we know ourselves, we understand ourselves very well. In six months time, we get married, legally. About that, how? How stable are we financially to get married? I've decided to go into full-scale business. Yes, you know, I want to start dealing in rice and beans. You know how profitable foodstuffs yeah. are in this country. So I've... The rice and beans should be wholesale. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not cut out for all this retail business. So I've already established a contact with um, what they call it Middle Belt Rice Farmers Association. So they will supply the rice and I sell in wholesale. Okay. Then Dati Farms. So talking about Dati Farms, I worked with them for 10 years as marketing manager. So now we are under contract to sell their, their farm produce. Okay. You know? So I've already established a big outlet here in Lagos. Mm -hmm. Then we can't just base our business in Lagos too. I have outlets in the east. We talk about Aba, Onisha, in yeah. Anambra State, then yeah. Enugu State. So I have outlets there. So we just sell 
things in wholesale to people that are, want to buy in retail and sell to other people. Yeah. Yes. So the the issue I'm having now is money because I need to buy two big trucks, yeah. you know, so they can convey our goods to all these places. You understand? So basically, that's just it. Um, so about the trucks, um, what do you have in front? Uh, really, actually, uh, I need roughly seven million naira for those trucks. But don't worry, I'm talking with banks. You know, I've already talked with banks. Banks? Really. No, no, no. You can only associate with banks when you're fully established, okay? Don't just go mending with those bankers and their shit. Um, I, I think I can come up with eight million. That way you could get a truck and probably get a car to move the wrong way. Oh my God. Wow, baby. Oh my God, Jesus. Come on, baby. Jesus. Jesus. The money is not really the issue here. I could give you all the money I have, every damn thing. I would give you my heart also, but would you take care of them? Ah, baby, how can you? Baby, you don't need to ask. See, everything I've done, everything I've planned, I, I wake up every morning, I crack my brains, I think. It's just to put a smile on your face. Come on, babe, it's okay. I love you too. My friends say it was so stupid of me to throw all my life savings into Austin's business. Our business. I don't think so. Is it not better to build a home and business with the man you intend to marry? So that it is obvious you've been there from the foundation. It is required and I have to do it. I believe in life. There are times to sow and there are times to harvest. This is my time to sow. Yes, so please, 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 I'm coming, I'm coming. Just give me 30 minutes max. Yes. Sorry, no, 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 no. Trust me, I'm usually earlier, but you know, yesterday I took stock and you know, moving things up and down here and there. Ah, I was just tired. I said, let me sleep some before somebody will faint. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Please, 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 please. Eh. Eh. Okay, okay, okay. Just give me 30 minutes, I beg. 30 minutes, okay? 30 minutes, I'll be with you. Okay, now. Austin, are you okay? <laughs> are you not supposed to be at work? Why are you looking like this? I lost my job. Wow. Why? Is your bank downsizing or something? No. Something happened in my department and I was sacked. The bank also took my official car. Sacked. Ha. Now, wow. Sorry. I'm really sorry, eh? I have to just run off now. People are waiting for me in the shop. Hello? I'm coming, I'm coming. You see me now, 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 now. Oh? Thanks, darling. I know you 
from the depths of my heart But you've chosen to do your things Ignoring how I feel You hear the cry From the depths of my heart But you've chosen to do your things Ignoring how I feel shall receive that's the rule of life what you do unto me when it comes to you how sure are you that you can bear it what you do unto me when it comes to you how sure in my eyes oh you hear the cry from the depth of my heart but you've just good morning Austin good morning <laughs> I didn't know you were awake already anyway I served your food is on the table so help yourself okay I'm off to work honey I need to talk to you briefly I'm listening. It's been two weeks now since I lost my job. You have never for one day asked what happened, why I lost my job, how I am coping, or what plans I have. Is it that you don't care? Well, I don't care. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not like I'm happy about it. Come on. But I, why should I care? When you had your job, you did things the way you wanted to do them without recourse to me as your wife. You went out and came back at your will. I mean, you mingled with people that you felt were fit. Yeah, I fought you. I tried. But the more I fought you, the more you've drifted away. So I decided to relax and take it as part of your nature. Oh, come on, you should do you. I see you writing applications here and there. I wish you the best. But reality should dawn on you. There are things to be done. I mean, the children are coming back and you know we do not have a house help. School runs need to be done. The children need help with their homework. You know, I am now the breadwinner. So, it is time for you to stop drinking and leave your new status. You know, I take care of the house rents, the feeding, and everything that has to do with finances in the home. Do you have anything to say? I'm off to work. I know you feel the pain in my heart. tears in my eyes oh you hear the cry from the depths of my heart but you've chosen to do your things ignoring how i feel you hear the cry from the depths of my heart but you've chosen to do your things, ignoring how I feel. Nothing lasts forever, tables turn around. What you give, you shall receive. That's the rule of life. What you do unto me, when it comes to you, how sure you can bear it. 
Like seriously? Austin expects me to cuddle and shed tears because of the loss of his job? <laughs> I wish. I must admit that I was expecting sympathy from Amar. I was expecting too much and nothing came. Instead, she gave me that reality check and spelled out my new role in the house. No bank would employ me and there's no job waiting anywhere. I am not cut out for business. Even if I am, where is the money to go into it? My account is zero. How things change. The role is reversed and it's not a matter of choice. It is the reality. I have a responsibility to contribute to the running of the home. And that is the domestic aspect. Trust me, it's not going to be easy. I know you feel the pain in my heart. Oh. I know you see the tears in my eyes Oh, you hear the cry From the depths of my heart But you've chosen to do your things Ignoring how I feel You hear the cry From the depths of my heart But you've chosen to do your things ignoring how I feel nothing lasts forever tables turn around what you give you shall receive that's the rule of life what you do unto me when it comes to you how shall I When it comes to you, how shall I you that you can bear it? Junior!
Chi. Chi. How far now? No, I do. I do. Okay, give me one. Mm, I'm just coming back. Oh, I want to take my bed before your call. Yeah, once I take my bed, I'll, I'll come out and see you. All right. <laughs> Chi. Oh, baby. That you have to come all the way outside to take a call. Who's that? I, I don't understand. Who's she? The person you're talking to. Uh. Brian, I know you love women and women love you. I could condole you whenever we go out, you're busy staring at their boobs and their ass. But what I will not tolerate is you cheating on me under my roof. It doesn't make no sense, right? Who's she? She is my cousin. Yeah. And you are aware I have a cousin in this town, right? Well, if she's your cousin, I want to talk to her on the phone. Introduce us, right? You want to talk to my cousin? Mm hmm Okay. And do that in English language, actually. Well, hello, we are bomb shots. Mm hmm For you. Take. Talk to her. Hello. Good morning. Yeah, we're good. Hope you're good and the family. Oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah, we should hang some time. All right, then, take care. Okay, you are happy now, Abby? Mm. You are satisfied? I'm not sure satisfied, though. I have to take her number, so when I meet her, I'll call her and be sure she's the one I spoke to. <laughs> hey, God. My God. Right, take <laughs> God. Hello! Hello. <laughs> oh my God, welcome. Wow. Thank you. Welcome. I am so sorry, darling. I'm oh, sorry. Come, come, come. So good. Good heavens! <laughs> so I am the man! Oh, yeah. <laughs> so nice to see you. How are nice you? Too. Good. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> I see you. Thank come you. Down. We have a lot of gist. Of course we do. Yeah. Come in, come in. Wow. Babes. I'm so glad to hear that the business is doing good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we think we'll do. The business is really going well. My sister. It has to. Because people must eat. You see this food business, I think it's the best right now. We put in a whole lot of time, energy and money into this business. And thank God it's actually working out well. But yeah, I had to take a time out today to rest my nerves. Ah. But wait. JJ. You actually gave Brian eight million to support the business. <laughs> Vanessa, that's no big deal. I know you were one of the people that were actually against me giving Brian um, all my life savings. Well, yeah, if I want to be a part of Brian's life, I don't see any reason not to invest in his business and everything. That way, he can be accountable to me financially and morally. Yeah. Yeah, we got a couple of um, delivery trucks and we got a warehouse. So yeah, we're doing well for now. <sighs> Hold on. Hello. Oh, nice. oh, oh, you guys look so weak. Um, what is he? This traffic is crazy. Hey, yeah, oh. so real. Thank you. Let me go and question my piece. Vanessa. All right. Why are you wearing? How could you be dressed this way? You actually knew we were coming back, right? I don't understand. <laughs> it's just the three of us in this house. No stranger. Brian is a man. A vulnerable one at that. He could be tempted. Wow. Can you listen to yourself? 
We've been friends for four years, played and slept in one bed. He wasn't tempted. And why should I tempt him now that the both of you are planning to get married? Does Benassa, it make any sense? Benassa. All I'm trying to say is that whenever you're in this house, this particular house, dress up properly. You can't be in the house looking all slutty and shit. You had a very wonderful day. Yeah. Okay, let me snap you. If I were to Alright. You have to pause. Ryan! Why are you such a lying bastard? I knew you from the minute to pick that cord that you were up to something. I knew you were up to something the minute you picked up that cord and you were going to see your cousin. Where is she? Where is she? <laughs> Baby, I'll relax. Hey. Hey. What to <laughs> What's funny? You're such a lying bastard. Who the hell are you? You think I'm talking with you? And you, who are you? What the? Who? 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 Jennifer, what? come here. Wait, wait, wait. Come here. What? What's wrong with you now, Jennifer? What's this? What? What's wrong? Jennifer, what's the meaning of this? You can't to bust in this town, right? It's me, Jennifer. Jennifer, what's wrong with you? What? Yes, she's my cousin. Actually, she told me to go and pick her from the airport. She's, uh, she's elder sister's daughter. So I picked her from the airport and decided to give her a treat here. What's wrong with that? Your cut off. Um, I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, Brian. Brian, I'm sorry. Let's go back inside. Brian! Brian, I'm sorry now. Hi, God. Okay, guys. Who was it? Why? Brian! Anyone that knows me very well could easily tell that I have changed. Yes. I have become so paranoid and grumpy lately. Since Brian packed fully into my life, I have this fear of losing him. How could this be? Me, JJ, that control things? That can get any man I want right out of his wife's embrace? Now I am afraid of losing my own man. I don't know. All I know is that I don't like this new me. I don't like this new me. Hey, babe. Come on. You've been sitting like this since you returned. Do you want something to eat? Okay, I don't want anything. I don't want anything. I'm so worried. I used to see women that fight over a man as stupid. I was even wondering what would ever make me fight with a, a woman the way Austin's wife did. I see them as people with low self-esteem, people who have forgotten how beautiful they are. And now look at me. I'm busy fighting in the streets over a man. Um, JJ, you need to calm down. Let's see how we can Man of all this whole thing, so Brian can forgive you. Hmm? I don't know. Do you ever forgive me? This will be you. Just calm down. Mm -hmm. Over me. This is lonely. I don't know what came over me. Please, I'm so sorry. Please, I'm so sorry. You know I love you. I don't want anyone to come in between us. Please, I'm so sorry. Please, I'm so sorry. Please, I'm so sorry. Please, I'm so sorry. Baby. Hmm? We need to talk. 
equal to the main line could be at rest. I'm listening. You, you've not said anything. You only brought me here and made love to me. You've not told me what your cousin's impression of me is. Put your mind at rest. You know, building a long-lasting relationship takes a lot in terms of trust. I may have been who I was in the past. But when I decided to settle down with you, I dropped all of them behind. I want you to understand that. It is very, very important. Mm, I'm so sorry. I promise it will never happen again. It's okay. It's fine. So yeah, tell me. What did she say? It's like any husband or any man at all. And when you do that publicly, baby, it's well, insanely above board. Oh, babe, I must have messed up big time. I'm so sorry. Well, luckily enough for you, when you see things from a feminist point of view, she said it was an act of love taken to a very dangerous height. Wow. She admitted you loved me and most importantly, she said you're beautiful. Whoa, she said all that. Yes. Oh. <laughs> She's such a darling. We've agreed not to disclose this to any member of our family, especially Chi. That reminds me. You will see how you day after tomorrow. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Chi, what's up? Hi, I'm good. I'm I'm almost at your place, so I'm on the street. What's your what's your what's your house number? Wow, number 35 Johnson Street. Oh, oh, okay. I just um came to drop Miriam off, so um I'll be with you shortly. I need to show you my new car. <laughs> what? New car? Ha! <laughs> yes, bro. I'll be with you soon, okay? See this one choku. I bet. Bye. See ya. <laughs> Whoa, who got a new car? Babe, my sister. <laughs> this girl is a serious hustler. I mean, it's not up to six months she started this business. She got a car. <laughs> she's really doing good. <laughs> let me let me go and see her. Hmm? Are you coming she's, with me? She's coming? Yes, she's in front of me. You know what? I'm just gonna quickly just brush my hair. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Let me go and see her. Be fast though. Yeah, I will. She's inside. Uh -huh. she's inside. Uh -huh. Wait, let me check this car. <laughs> oh, um, that's my wife, <laughs> Jennifer. Brian, I, I have to go now. Oh, Chi, are, are you are you okay? What, what's going on, Chi?
I can't believe this. You mean you were dating my in-law, Austin? Well, that, that's not my issue, though. You attacked his wife. Why? For trying to save her marriage. You locked her up in police cell, not one night, not two nights, but three days. Oh, God. And here you are, attacking everybody that comes close to me. It's not as if I'm, I've married you yet. Yeah? We just engaged. Babe, babe, I'm sorry. I've totally changed, and I promise to make amendments. Oh, my God. Babe. I shouldn't have just told him. Um, what if his cousin tells him? It's best you did. So now what do I do? This is just so much to sit down. Mimi, good morning. How are you? Um, um, okay. When did you come back from Germany? Paris, actually. I came back three days ago. Oh, okay. I can see you're busy. Oh, um, yes, I usually do this before I take the kids to school, but today we're running late, so I had to take them and then come and do it. Oh. Yes, Amy's upstairs. Oh, okay. Good to see you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> You know, I keep telling people that this world is a small place. <laughs> you know, we should all be careful what we do out there. Because what goes around comes around. My dear, you couldn't have been more right. <laughs> you should have seen her when she saw me. <laughs> it was like she saw a ghost. She just froze. Are you kidding me? Where's Austin? Austin! Austin! Uh -uh. Where is this man? But Maybe he's outside. Wait a minute. What did you tell your cousin, Brian? <laughs> Nothing. I mean, what would I have told him? I only told him to be careful. He should look before he leaps. This is marriage. He should better shine his eyes before marrying anybody. Hi! That's all. Amara, you're just, you're just a nice person. You're an amazing human. After what that Jennifer did to you, you, you want to allow your cousin, Brian, bring her into your family. It's not possible. I just wish all single ladies that, that are running after married men can, can just be in Jennifer's situation and have me to contend with. What would you have I me I will show her, Pepe. What would you have me do? I, I, I can't tell Brian not to marry her now. Why would I even do that? I don't know what their relationship is like and what she means to him. So why would I want to destroy it? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't have even said a word of anything that happened to my cousin. But she told him everything and he started asking me. Ah, they should enjoy themselves, so if it's good for them, they should go ahead and get married. Oh. Whatever that girl did to me, somebody else would do it to her. Amen. Kama is a bitch. Yes. My sister, let us go. Let <laughs> us go. Me. Start oh, telling him. She, ah, no, she's no, no, just no, no, no. lucky that I am not the one. You don't need all that. Mm. Ah. My dear, I don't even have time. Ah. <laughs> she will see what I have seen. Ah, Shelly's <laughs> marriage. Ah. Yeah. Ah, ah, Austin, you're here. Yes. But I've told you to stop washing the car now. I usually take it to the car wash beside my shop. I, I am sorry for washing the car late. Do we need anything in the house? Um, no, not really. We still have food that would last till weekend. 
and then the, there's rice for the kids to eat when I pick them up. Eh, yes. okay. Hey, hey, that reminds me. You know you asked for singlets and boxers. I'm sorry, I've not been to the market. That's why I haven't bought. Do you want me to give you money to buy it? No, 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 it, it's okay. Um, when I go and buy the foodstuffs, I'll buy it. Eh. Yeah, yes. Oh, okay. oh and um, the kid's lesson teacher. Oh, She's had a oh monthly God. fee, yes. Oh, okay, that's fine. I... Let me get some money. Oh, sorry. So, oh, sorry. This one is, is two thousand. Okay, that's two thousand. Okay, yes. okay. So add this, huh? Thank you. That's her fee. Thank you. You're sure you don't want me to give you money no, for the boxes? Fine. Thank you. Ah, uh, okay. Please open the gate, eh? Okay. So oh, let me put this. In. Uh, my friend. Do you know? If you had, if I didn't know you, and they told me, you see, I was saying you work out for this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Not the only worker, wait until they use work out. Eh? When God is blessing me. I don't even have that kind of time. My sister. Eh? It was after he lost his job. Oh. You know, he started drinking and just, you know, loitering around drinking. I said, I called him one day. I said, bros, you cannot continue drinking. Oh. Things have to be done. Because come on now, I'm, I'm, I'm working and making money for the house. So he has to make himself useful. Hey. So I'm sure he understood the assignments. Taking care of uh, school fees, house rent. You have to start taking care of the house chores though. Hey. Ah, yes. I think that's when he realized that. Aha, uh -huh, bye. <laughs> when he realized that reality has dawned on him, my sister. Ah. Uh -huh. Yes, so. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I honestly don't know what to say. But, how did this happen? <laughs> My dear, you know, I was really heartbroken. You see why I say your heart is as pure as gold. You're an amazing hum human. So after what he did to you with that Jennifer girl, you still, you still pamper him. You buy him singlets, boxers, uh, 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 pants. <laughs> eh? <laughs> if I were the one, I will deal with him. I mean, I wish all cheating husbands can be in Austin's situation and have a wife like me. Eh? If they have a wife like me, <laughs> they'll go so far, you know, they will run away from the house. My dear, life is not all about that, so there are some things you need to know about life. You know, when all these things were happening, Heartbroken. I cried to God and God answered me. Mm. God gave me peace of mind that surpasses understanding. That is what every woman needs in her life. Yes. Ha. My dear. Hmm. I thank God though for people like you, even for all of you, my friends, that rallied round and you know to support me. Follow him. Now look at me. Mimi, look at me. And look at them. Who is laughing last? <laughs> hey, hey. Eh? You are laughing last, my I'm sister. I'm laughing best. Yes, so. What are we talking about? Ah. <laughs> Even though sometimes I feel for him. Huh? You know, as a man washing clothes, he washes my clothes, ha. he washes the children's clothes. You know, he cleans the house, mm. he wakes up by 5 a.m. to cook, he goes to the market. Sometimes I just wish there was something I could do. I beg, leave matter for Matthias. Feel for him where? Where? Ah. He needs to do it. Mm. Eh? Yeah. What it is. It is what it I is. Come and kiss. My self. My girl, you did try. <laughs> I mean, Kalena, you did try. Hi. What is this? My dear, God is good though. All Lift the time. Up. All up. the time. Mm. Hey? <laughs> He's asking. He wants to cook. He wants. Hey! He's even washing your car. Ah. I ah, said ah. that one though. That one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Interesting. Yes, so. What's up, girl? How have you been? I'm fine. How are you holding up? Um, I'm just here, Jerry. I'm just here, not sure of what's coming for it. You sounded so worried when you called me two days ago. Has your man spoken to Austin's wife? And what did she say? <laughs> Yeah, well, he spoke to her actually. 
And she told him that whatever experience she has of me shouldn't be a criteria to decide whether he's going to get married to me or not. Yeah. Chai, that woman is very nice though. She's a nice person. Yes, yeah, so she is a very nice woman. The only problem I'm having right now is Brian has been acting so cold towards me. It's either he's sneaking around playing with Vanessa or chatting and talking in low tunes. Then whenever I walk in, they go silent. Can you imagine that yesterday evening these two people took a walk without me? Just imagine. Are you serious? Wait, do. Is Vanessa still in that house? Ah, no. That is wrong. Uh -uh. Where is your smartness? Ha! Huh. You know, some ladies are very bad. And having been in the street, you should know that. Anyway, I will call you back later. I am busy now, okay? Okay, girl. Talk to you later. So make a call. Vanessa, sit down. Yes? Vanessa, what is it you've been discussing with Brian? What's the bonding all about? JJ, don't you think you're overreacting? Come on! I would just complain to Brian about the issue I had with my boyfriend. Do you know I've been worried? Do you know that? Hmm. And he has just been advising me like a sister. <laughs> Not anymore. Why don't I believe a word you say? Look at you, half naked. One minute you're whispering with Brian, the next minute you're playing with him. Have I not told you to leave my man alone? Have I not? JJ, have you seen where your suspicion has led you to? Come on, you're pushing Brian away with your suspicion and insecurity. Oh, I see. <laughs> Tell me more. So this is what you and Brian has been discussing behind me. And as my friend, you didn't see it reasonable enough to like, talk to me about it. How can I talk to you about it? When you're so suspicious of every single thing that moves. <laughs> JJ, you're making me uncomfortable with this behavior of yours. I oh. tell you. Oh, 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 oh. You just took the word right out of my mouth. Vanessa, I leave my house to you. I am also uncomfortable with you here. Can you have peace of mind? I don't... Leave my house! I should leave? Did I not speak English right now? I said, leave my house, Vanessa. Can't you understand English? I said, leave my house. visiting my sister for a couple of days. I'll be back to take the rest of my stuff. So, so you are just visiting your sister and you are, you're clearing out? Can you tell me what is going on? Excuse me. Hello? Ah, my brother. How far? Ah, nah, Biko, 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 eh? Biko, where were I? You know, we couldn't get the products because the, these trailer people, you know, they have fear of a problem. Uh, they're having small issue, but I promise you, before weekend, yes, I will deliver. Eh? It's one more. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, now, listen. If you don't tell me what is going on here, you're not leaving this house. Brian, please. Let us go. I beg you in the name of God. Just, just let this go. Please. JJ. Take it easy. Brian, thank you so much for your hospitality. Take care of yourself and take care of my friend. 
Ah, baby, just let her go, okay? Did you ask her to leave? Yes, but it's better this way. It's better for us. We need the privacy. Moreover, there is a crowd and I need you all to myself. What is wrong with you, Jennifer? What is wrong with you? Oh, you, you sent her away because... You think I'm having an affair with her? <laughs> that spirit of jealousy again. It has started eating you up. Can you tell me what your problem is? You said you had nothing with her. So why are you so mad? Now I know something is wrong with you. Yes. Tell me why are you so insecure? Tell me! Why? Why are you scared? I know you don't love me. No. Because you can't love. Yes. <sighs> oh, now I see. It's because of the money, right? It's because of the money you gave me. Fine, listen to me. I will transfer six million naira to your account right now. And in two weeks, I will balance you your remaining two million. Excuse me. Babe! It's not even that serious, spicy. <sighs> Fuck. What did I do this time around? Oh my god. So, what do you think you like? <laughs> hey, God. Over here now. Really? Over here. <laughs> you know, this place is a residential area and mm -hmm. there is not much food stuff shops around, so you get a little go see see don't sleep on this thing. I swear. <laughs> okay, I swear. so I'll just got me the caretaker and conclude now. Let me pay. I'll say so. Mm. I'll say so. Don't okay. even waste time. No yeah. wahala. Please. You can't wait though. Because see my negotiation is to take some time. But we're going to come wine. Hey. <laughs> So maybe you'll going? go. I can find my way, don't worry, I'll try. Right, right. hmm? I'll call you. Thank hmm? you. Congrats. <laughs> I'm really doing well. I like it. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Thank you. I went with Amarachi to see her new shop. How soon are you coming back? I don't really know. You know, I will have to take her back to her old shop when we are done. Is there any problem? Okay, do you know where the receipt booklet is? I can't find it. <laughs> Come on, baby. How am I supposed to do? You are the one that took the stock last. Oh, I will try to find you, okay? All right. I'll see you later. Oh. Um, Vanessa, how are you? I'm fine. I wanted to find out if there's anyone at home. Oh, really? Yes, so I can come over and pick up my things. Um, actually, I just came back now to pick something and rush off. Since you're coming, let me just wait for you, okay? I have to do it today because I'm traveling tomorrow to see my father. But you have to be fast. Yeah, he's very sick. I need to see him. All right. Um, I'm waiting. Be fast, please. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> Hey, hold on, I'm coming. <coughs> I'm coming, oh. God. Who's that? Hi. Oh, Vanessa. I am so sorry for keeping you waiting. All right, maybe I dozed off. I promise I won't take your time. Okay. <coughs> Hello? <sighs> Hello? I can't hear you. What, what, what happened to Papa? What's that? <gasps> Vanessa. What? Wait. <gasps> Wait, what, what? What, what, what was that? Well, 
have a busy sneak around, come on. Me for here, okay? Really? Hey. You just have to get hold of yourself, okay? Uh, Jennifer, see. Okay. Right. Jennifer! Hey! What is that? What's wrong with you? Are you mad? Are you out of your mind? Uh, Vanessa called me that. She wants to come back and pack her things and go and see sick father. She was here and they called her and told her that her father is dead. That's what happened. What's wrong with you now? Vanessa. 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 She's not breathing. Just check, check. Vanessa. Oh God, Vanessa. She, she's dead. No, 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 baby. She, she can't be dead. Vanessa. She's dead. Vanessa! She's dead! Vanessa, say something to me! Oh my god! Baby, baby, baby! Check, hey. just, just, just check! Baby, please, just, just do something! Vanessa! Oh my god! Vanessa! Oh my god! Vanessa, please talk to me! Vanessa, I'm so sorry! Please talk to me, baby, please! Please! Hey, God! Oh my god! What will I do? Baby, what are we gonna do? Oh my God, Vanessa, Vanessa, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Vanessa, Vanessa, say something to me, please, please, please wake up, please, please wake up, Vanessa, oh my God, Vanessa, I'm calling the police. You, Jennifer, was it not this year you appeared before me, accusing a woman for fighting you in public, that you were having an affair with her husband? Why give what you can't take? What is it that drives a woman to the point of taking the life of her husband? Who is a saint? Who has not cheated? Who has not lied to his or her partner? Why give what you cannot take? Even if you are a saint, is it worth taking another's life? Well, Jennifer, I hope you have a good lawyer because from where I am sitting, if you escape hanging, you may not escape a life sentence. Good luck to you. Going out already? Um, yes, I am. Please sit down. I'd like to have a word with you. Austin, it's, it really hurts me to see you at home doing chores when you should be out there like other men working or doing business. So. I am. I am paying for my mistakes. I accept it. I am grateful that I still have a wife. That gives me shelter. Feeds and clothes me when I should have been thrown out. You don't owe me more than that.
we all make mistakes and um, the most important thing is accepting your mistakes, learning from it and making amends. Um, I'm making arrangements for a house help that will come to take care of the kids and the home while you join me in my business. You know, it's growing and I know I need you to, you know, take over the business, okay? When you're used to it and you can handle it alone, I'll now come back to bring up our children properly. I... Honey, I don't deserve you. I don't. I don't deserve your mercy. As an elderly person, it is my duty to mediate alongside my role as a police officer. My intention is to bring all of you together to ensure a lasting peace. Ms. Jennifer, so. how can we settle this matter so that we can forgive Mrs. Adebayo? and withdraw your case against her. Thank you, sir. You've spoken to me and I've had you. Also, her husband here has impressed me greatly. My heart is not made of stone, so yeah. I will forgive her if she shows remorse by apologizing to me. Good. We are heading somewhere. Mrs. Adebayo, yes, did you hear her? Yes, I did. I'm sorry. If you're sorry, you should go down on your knees and apologize. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for beating you up. It will not happen again. Right, right. I forgive okay. her. All right. Then, if you, I think I'll withdraw my charges at least. Good. Mm -hmm. So you can get up now. Mm. There is something I want you to understand. Maturity is not my age. When they say somebody is mature, it's the ability to think. Mature women do not attack the mistress of their husband. Instead of attacking her, you attack your husband. Hmm? You have no business with her. Do you understand me? If your husband continues to be irresponsible, there are many ways you can handle this matter without being violent. You see, the violent way you have taken it has landed you into this. Huh? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. You can go. Thank you, sir.
Here, your girlfriend forgot that in the bathroom. I hope you've been using the condoms I bought for you. I could get you some if, you, if they're finished. Honey? No, stand up. Stand up, Stink. Come on, stand up. Stand up. I've been a fool. I feel so shameless for all the things I have done to you. Yet you've treated my stupidity with so much maturity and wisdom. I don't deserve you. I don't. I've always loved you. And I know you love me too. You made your mistakes. And I hope you have learned from it. I want you back. I want my husband back. I want the father of my children back. I want my family back. I'm sorry. I know you feel the pain in my heart. Oh, I know you see tears in my eyes oh you hear the cry from the depth of my heart but you've chosen to do your things ignoring how i feel you hear the cry from the depth of my heart but you've chosen to do your things, ignoring how I feel.